Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download and install 7-Zip, an open source file archival application on your Windows computer. So 7-Zip is unique from Linrar because it actually uses its own archival format, but it can read and write different archival formats as well. And I wanted to just make a brief tutorial just showing you guys how to download and install it. If you'd rather use this over, say, WinRAR or another file archiver application. So we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up any web browser. And I am already had Firefox open, so I'm just going to start with that. And then once we're on Google, I'm just going to type in 7-Zip here. And hit Enter. And the website that comes up should say 7-Zip.org. Should be one of the top results. You want to open that up. Make sure it's the official website here. So once you're on here, there should be a couple of download links at the top of the page at the time of this recording, and there should be a 32 and a 64-bit one. Make sure you download the correct one. If you download the wrong version, it's obviously not going to download and install. So since I'm running a 32-bit version of Windows, I'm going to select the first one here. And I'm just going to save it. It's only about 1.1 megabytes, so it's pretty small. So I'm just going to open this thing up. And I'm also going to, I was going to minimize out of the browser, but it appears we are about to get a user account control window here. So we're going to select yes, that we want to install the application. It's going to have a destination folder here. You're allowed to change it if you choose to do so. I don't see why anybody would, but we're going to select the default destination folder for the install. And I'm going to click on install. And it's going to say it was installed and it's pretty quick installer it's not very fancy but it does the job so if we go back in the start menu here just make sure it's installed and we type in 7-zip we can see the 7-zip file manager is here and it is on our computer so i hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and i will catch you in the next tutorial goodbye